Hello there, welcome back to Gemma Movie Recap. Today I'm going to recap Transfusion, an action drama movie from 2023. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. The movie opens with Ryan Logan, a skilled sniper from a special military unit, on a mission with his fellow soldiers Ryan is renowned for his dependability as a sniper and frequently has to protect his team from a distance but occasionally due to the negligence of his comrades. He has to confront the enemy head on to save his colleagues in the present day Ryan has retired from the military due to injuries he sustained during his missions and he spends his time teaching his students. When Ryan and Billy return home, Ryan's wife Justine greets them and expresses concern for Billy's safety during the hunt. Justine is pregnant with their second child, and Ryan becomes even more concerned because Billy is not interested in becoming a sniper like his father and instead chooses to release his prey. Ryan realizes that Billy doesn't have the same killer instinct as him, but he is not disappointed because he doesn't want to kill people anymore like he did in the military. He gets up early every day to prepare breakfast for Billy and Justine, taking over Justine's responsibilities so she can sleep, and as soon as Ryan finished his work at home, he headed to the military base where he trained young soldiers. Ryan's colleague Johnny informed him that their boss erred by assigning Ryan to supervise soldiers rather than being in the field due to his exceptional shooting abilities. Justine was driving Billy to school when they were struck by a careless driver, leaving them both critically injured. Ryan and Johnny rushed to the hospital, where they were horrified to learn that Billy and Justine had lost a lot of blood and needed transfusions immediately. They also discovered that Justine's baby could not be saved. He only smiled at Johnny's words because he had already decided to retire as a sniper. It was a heartbreaking moment for Ryan, but he knew he had to be strong for his family because his blood type matched both his wife and son. Knowing that he had to make a difficult choice and sacrifice one in order to save the other, Ryan chose to donate his blood to Billy and let Justine go, knowing that she would want him to concentrate on their son. Meanwhile, Johnny saw Ryan struggling and retaliated against the drunk driver who hit Justine and Billy. He kidnapped the driver who was also hospitalized and tortured him. Years later, with longer hair, Ryan looked very different but he was constantly thinking about his late wife, Justine. The judge told Ryan that Billy would be placed in a social institution if he got into problems again because Ryan was unable to properly educate him at the time. Billy had developed into a mischievous teenager and had been in trouble with the law several times. The following day, Ryan was called into the principal's office because Billy's school fees were past due and the school could no longer accept his misbehavior. The principal offered Ryan a limited amount of time to pay the money or Billy would be expelled from school, and Ryan was concerned that he might lose his son. Soon after Ryan and Johnny first met in a cafe, it was discovered that they were both retired from the military. Johnny then nicely offered Ryan a job that paid well, but Ryan respectfully declined because he was content with his job as a salesperson for a company from home and understood the job was illegal. After leaving Billy off at school, Ryan and Billy didn't seem to get along as they seldom spoke to one another. When Ryan began selling his goods to a customer, the latter was so obnoxious that Ryan decided to issue a warning to him. Before leaving at that time, Ryan was annoyed and decided to head back home to his surprise he saw Johnny chatting with Billy at his house there. Ryan was worried about what Johnny might be saying to Billy. He immediately asked Johnny to talk outside. Johnny again offered Ryan a job as a sniper to rob money from drug dealers. At first, Ryan refused, but his financial situation was getting worse, so he felt forced to accept the offer. However, he made it clear that he wouldn't kill anyone. Then, when Ryan got home, he looked through his old weapons that he hadn't used in a while, and he decided to bring a gun instead of his sniper rifle because it was more covert later. Ryan and Johnny carried out Johnny's plan and robbed a drug dealer safe. They were able to escape unnoticed after the robbery thanks to Johnny's knowledge of the area. Ryan and Johnny were having a good time talking, but Johnny predicted he wouldn't see Ryan again because they had made a lot of money. He then offered Ryan a portion of the funds to cover Billy's tuition. The following day, 
Ryan learned that his supervisor had fired him as a result of a customer's complaint about his behavior, forcing him to look for Johnny once more in order to secure a new illegal job. Johnny offered Ryan a more difficult work because he was aware of his financial necessity. While Ryan was getting ready for the mission, Johnny had to be protected from a distance by Ryan using his sniper rifle. Ryan granted Billy's request to go out with his pals before continuing with his mission. The drug dealers accused Johnny of robbing their headquarters, but he easily denied the accusations, and the drug dealers couldn't harm him. Shortly after Ryan watched Johnny from a distance and observed his interactions with the drug dealers there, Johnny asked Ryan to shoot anyone who seemed suspicious. Even though he was already drunk, Billy's friend persuaded him to drive his parents' car, which was a risky decision, and things quickly went south. Meanwhile, Ryan, who had just finished his own task, received word that Billy had crashed the car and didn't shoot anyone. Billy was having a great time with his friends drinking alcohol and enjoying each other's company. He hurried to see his troubled friend, but his patience was wearing thin with Billy's repeated mishaps. At that time, he had not even finished paying Billy's tuition fees, but now they had to figure out how to pay for the damage to the car. When Billy arrived home, he was filled with regret and even contemplated ending his own life. Ryan tried to console him and offer support, giving him a much-needed hug later on. Ryan attempted to apologize to the owner of the car and make amends, but it only made things more complicated. The owner, who happened to be a lawyer, demanded full compensation for the damage and forbade. Ryan appealed to Johnny for a job after that incident prevented Billy from being friends with his son, and Johnny gave him a lucrative job as a hitman who targeted drug traffickers who were following him. Ryan needed a lot of money to pay for the car repairs. On the day of the assignment, Ryan, a proficient sharpshooter, accepted the unsavory job without hesitation. To avoid being seen when thugs arrived to assassinate Johnny, Ryan arrived five hours early to scout the area and plan his shot. He took into account the wind and reflections from the glass. When Ryan was prepared, they threatened Johnny with a gun and demanded the money he had stolen from their safe. Johnny grinned, knowing Ryan would shortly defend him. The lawyer whose car Billy damaged spotted Ryan lurking in the parking lot. The lawyer hopped into his car to go home only to be taken aback by Ryan already being inside threatening him. The lawyer was so scared that he eventually agreed to let bygones be bygones with Billy and the others. However, more appeared hunting for Johnny. He remained alert and managed to thwart their attack. After finishing his work, he left Johnny to bury the corpses of the gangsters. Suddenly his celebration was cut short when a new gang of thugs barged in intent on killing him. Thankfully, Johnny was able to fend them off and save his own life, but the feeling of safety was short-lived and Johnny soon realized that he was still in danger. He made his way to Ryan's house the next day and asked him to join him on a new mission. Unfortunately, Ryan declined which angered Johnny. Suddenly, Johnny attacked Ryan hoping to kill him and use him as a scapegoat for all of the robberies and murders that he had committed there. Ryan was forced to fight back against his partner just when things were looking grim. Billy showed up with Ryan's rifle and shot Johnny. The film ended with Ryan and Billy sitting in a park chatting and seemingly reconciling both feeling happier than before the film ends. Thank you for watching and we can't wait to see you at our next one.